the disappearance of Anthony Davis was not publicized prior of Game 2 between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Golden State Warriors. But there he was, barely noticeable and making no impact for the Lakers. He recorded 30 points, 23 rebounds, 5 assists and 4 blocks in the Lakers game, 1 triumph against the Warriors, but only 11 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists and 3 blocks in Golden State's 127-100 victory in Game 2. Davis' performance was as perplexing as it was troubling. The Lakers cannot win this series with performances like Davis who also committed 4 turnovers, follow each game, NBA, live scores and schedules. Warriors square series with Lakers with blowout game two win led by Clay Thompson. Even if Davis performs well, Los Angeles is unlikely to win that game. The Warriors excelled in a variety of categories. Steve Kerr and his coaching staff orchestrated an excellent comeback and the players delivered a much more effective attacking effort. Steph Curry and Clay Thompson conducted the clinic. But if Davis produces at that level, the Lakers have no chance in any game. His performance from game to game is scrutinized and for good cause. Against Memphis, he had 4 for 14 and 4 for 13 shooting games. The Lakers were 1-1 in those games, but they might be able to pull it off against the Grizzlies. They can't compete with Golden State. From game 1 to game 2, the Warriors made defensive modifications as well, with a concentration on Davis. Due to an illness, Golden State center Kevin Looney was limited, while Draymond Green spent time defending Davis. Davis was unable to dominate at the rim, as the Warriors shut down his pick-and-roll game and forced him to hit jump jumpers. He was unable to establish an early rhythm after missing four of his first five shots. In Game 2, he was 5 for 11 from the field with eight points in the paint and only one dunk and one foul shot. In Game 1, he went 11 for 19 with 18 points in the paint and 8 foul shots. Everyone has a poor game. The predictability that Davis possesses will be a significant plotline in this series. The Warriors stopped Davis from dominating at the rim, shut down his pick and roll game, and forced him to attempt jump shots. Missing four of his first five shots prevented him from establishing an early rhythm. In Game 2, he was just 5 for 11 from the field with 8 points in the paint and only one dunk and one foul shot. In Game 1, he was 11 for 19 with 18 points in the eight and 8 foul shots. Every player had a terrible game. Davis' predictability will be a significant subplot in this season.